Hi dear diaper wearers. This video is about the Abu space. I will show you and reveal how I liked it in the field test. We will also look at the prices, which are unfortunately becoming more and more an issue with Abu. But first to the diaper. Surely you have already guessed from the name that this diaper is visually about space. Fittingly, it was colored completely in blue. Rather lighter, so that it does not look too striking, as space is depicted in some movies, if you just do not want to color it black, that would spread a darker, gloomy mood. This was avoided with the blue and one rather thinks of the blue summer sky, behind which the vastness of space is hidden. You can see the adhesive surface at the front from the reflections, it is transparent, so it is not colored differently from the diaper. It is glued with reusable plastic adhesives, as it is usual for Abu. If you're subscribed to my Wendell TV channel, you'll know this for sure, I've had a few other diapers from this manufacturer on test. Inside it has the usual leakage cuffs, which are relatively high compared to many medical diapers, so there is still room for inserts to increase absorbency. In the field tests, however, I'll be testing the diapers without any other aids like inserts, since not everyone wants to do that and the point is to see how good the diaper is, rather than the combination of diaper with certain inserts. For those who want to do that, ABDL diapers are usually better. Or you can take medical diapers that also have a high leakage barrier, such as Better Dry. Which, according to your comments, will definitely please some of you. The space is completely printed, from front to back and also the side wings. I would not rate this, as it is purely a matter of taste, the diaper does not work better or worse. The first impression with this diaper is good. It offers everything you can expect from ABDL diapers without being overly flashy, both positive and negative. This impression continues with the adhesives. They are the same as those used on many other diapers. But that's not meant in a negative way. They're easy to peel off in place, they stick firmly, and they're comparatively easy to remove even after a long period of wear, although it's a bit more difficult there, of course. In short, they have proven themselves, so I see little reason why this should be changed. In the practical test, the diaper proved thirsty, even with larger amounts of urine nothing leaked. The distribution is fine, in the beginning almost everything is still absorbed in the front and only later, when there is no longer so much capacity, it goes to the back, which then also gets the buttocks wet. When it comes to its limits, it either drips slowly after wetting, or it still runs during the front next to it. The maximum weight in my test was 1.8 kilograms, but here she has already leaked significantly. I would expect it to weigh at most 1.7 kilograms, better only 1.6. With an empty weight of 214 grams, it is already in the upper field of diapers with relatively much material, the current record is 230 grams. Let's move on to the less good things. When I made the video, it was sold out in every store I know. Even in the EU store of Abu itself, their size M is listed for 31.95 euros per pack. That makes about 3 euros and 20 cents per diaper. A proud price, especially if you look at the history. Using Google Cash, you can find a larger ABDL store that was still selling them for 26 euros and 63 cents per pack on February 11, 2023. That would be 2.66 euros per piece and thus still no bargain, but a price that I would still see as acceptable. However, it is no longer listed anywhere at this former price, even in the sold-out stores. The store from the Google Cash page has even recently taken the diaper completely out of stock. Even the direct link to the product page only takes you to the home page. So as soon as it is available again, it will probably only be for the new price of 31.95 euros per pack. We are by no means talking about a small surcharge, which could actually be due to increased production costs, but a whopping 48% additional price within a short time. And that seems to have a system at Abu. Other diapers have also been made significantly more expensive, and in some cases the surcharges are even more extreme. Obviously, they are unfortunately trying to take advantage of the generally rising prices to test how far they can drive the prices up so that it is financially most worthwhile. That's why I can't recommend buying this diaper, it's good but it's just too expensive for the last market price. Especially since Abu itself can't even deliver them at the moment. Other diapers such as the Critter Caboose, on the other hand, are available and also much cheaper per piece. In addition, they have a greater suction power and feel even thicker. In the space you feel already packed, but it is not the thickest diaper, who likes that can increase the feeling with others a little more. This is just an example. Depending on what is important to you, there are many other diapers that offer a better price to performance ratio. The rear Safari, for example, cost almost a whopping 2.33 euros each less, but are still comparably thick, hold at least as much, and also offer colorful prints. Unlike the space, the background is white. 
The only reason that speaks for the space in my eyes is the design. If you want to have exactly these imprints, you will have to pay the extra price. If necessary, then also for other diapers from Abu such as the Peak Abu, which have risen even more. This trend applies to some diapers of this manufacturer, but not all are affected. The little paws, for example, you still get at a relatively reasonable price, which is appropriate for what is offered. I also made a test video about them, which you are welcome to watch. The little paws even has a wetness indicator, which, in my opinion, was made cute. If you are not so blown away by the design of space that you absolutely want to have this diaper at any price, then I would rather leave it at least in the current situation. Because then there is really no need. In addition, you are sending a signal to the manufacturer that you care about the price. If enough of you do this, he will be forced to lower his prices again as soon as the diaper is available. This is only worthwhile for the manufacturer if enough people buy at a significantly higher price, so that the higher turnover with a lower number of units ultimately ensures more profit than they had with the old prices. But you still don't have to do without diapers, take a look at the other videos on my channel. I have already tested a few different diapers and there were many good ones among them, which are sold at a good to reasonable price. By the way, you can also subscribe to my channel Diaper TV for free, so you won't miss any new videos about diapers. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, see you next time. I hope you stay dry and don't leak.